Two of the people standing behind me are from Holland, apparently. Yeah. We are. <laughs> <laughs> And only one of them has ever stuck his finger in a dike. <laughs> what, what? It's a Dutch story. It's a Dutch story. It's a Dutch story about a little boy who sticks his finger in a dike and saves Holland. You know that story, right? <laughs> you can do it, of course, because you have hooves. <laughs> yeah, all right. Go and check him out. <laughs> All right, then, all right. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Uh, Leonie, from, from Holland. Ho which part? From the east of Holland. The east of Holland? <laughs> Have you ever been there, Jeff? Yeah, hell, what? I've got a place there, two oh, places. Oh, okay. Uh, and you are? Arno. Uh, you from the east of Holland also? Yes, as well. Uh, are you traveling together? Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you friends? Men and wife. Man and wife? Marius. Or women and husband, yeah. perhaps? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, welcome to the United States of America now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, are you on vacation? Yes. Ah, I see. And uh, how are things in Holland? Do you still drink these tiny little small beers? No, we drink larger beers. Oh, you got larger yeah. beers now? <laughs> we improved. Yeah, no, I, I went to Amsterdam once, oh. I'm told. <laughs> we heard. Yeah, no, yeah. no. Was a, so uh, you're traveling all across America, are you? No, just the east of the western part. Oh, the California. western part. Yeah. California. California. Yes. Yeah, the, the good bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, everyone else. <laughs> I know it's not the good bit. <laughs> so, are you having a nice time? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And Dutch people are very relaxed, aren't they, Jeff? Yeah, yeah very casual, very casual. laid back. Yeah, yeah. very casual. You ever been to Holland? Sure, yeah, hell yeah. Of course, you've got a little place there in oh, the yeah, east of Holland. Some crazy yeah. stuff. Which part of the east of Holland? The Hook of Holland? Yeah, sure. Yeah, the middle. Yeah. Sure. No, no. I, I, I'm, I was that's asking. Where they're from? Yeah, gee, that's where they're from. Yeah. Which part of the east of Holland? Almelo. Almelo. Uh, envelope. Almelo. 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 Where the owls come from? Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 peop, the people of Almelo are called Almolians. Almelors. 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 All right then. Yeah. <laughs> No. Yeah, right. Now, so if you can answer this question, we're going to send you to... Where are we going to send them, Maggie? How about Master's Steakhouse? Master's Steakhouse. You guys are probably vegetarians, aren't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm impressing this guy one single bit. You know. <laughs> I mean, he, he was quite dismissive there. <laughs> Come here a minute, man. <laughs> well, you, know, you, you were quite dismissive there. You kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Why? You don't like a good piece of meat? Yeah, of course I like a good piece. Get back into place. Oh. Uh, anyway, uh, here's the question. Uh, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Who, what was the name of the little boy that stuck his finger in the dike and saved Holland? In the classic story, um, Peter puts his finger in the dike and saves Holland. <laughs> Peter was. Is the correct answer? You're going to Master's Steakhouse. Everyone's the winner tonight. We'll be right back. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's new crosscut ribs. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Very, very convincing indeed. I think, I think after about the first hour, I suspected sarcasm. What about you, Jeff? Well, they've been nicely warmed up. Well, they've been very. I listened to the warm up guy yeah. before I came out. I call him a warm up guy. Why, Jeff? Yeah, because he's not really a comedian. Though. Or and he's not really he's not a guy. A guy. He's no. Not a guy. He's not a real anyway, 
no, I was... <laughs> he's always stunning. I was listening before I came out, he's like, oh, give him a turn up, blow him! And then, then he said that. <laughs> and then, then he said... Which I was like, I'm listening. And then... <laughs> And then he said, uh, make his hair jiggle. Right. That's right. what he said, make his hair jiggle. He said, make his hair jiggle. And I'm like, that's frightening. But I have to tell you, my hair is jiggling. Not this hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm up here, mister. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. A great day. A great day for America's sweetheart, Charlie Sheen. Happy birthday, Charlie. 49 today. Happy birthday, Charlie yeah. Sheen. Well done. He went all out today. Huge party, tons of strippers, couple of arrests. Then somebody told him it was his birthday. <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was poor, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, I don't think it was our best. It wasn't our finest moment. I don't think at home anyone's going, well, my hair's jiggling now, Craig. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Do you know the organizers of New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade? I, I don't know who it is. The Irish people in Yeah, here? sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's leprechauns underneath uh, Central Park. They're like, what are we going to do this year? <laughs> The organizers of the New York City, <laughs> I don't know who it is, but they, anyway, they've said that they're going to lift the ban on great gay groups marching. And I'm thinking, good for them. But now's the tough part, finding gay people who like parades. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying the opposite of what's true for the most part. <laughs> the Queen of England uh, has said that she thinks taking a selfie is strange. I assume she's talking about cameras. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As far as she's concerned, the Queen says phones are only meant for one thing only, sexting. <laughs> Boy, show me your bangers! <laughs> <laughs> show me your bangers, I'll show you my mesh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now my hair's jiggling, Greg. Thank you very much. <laughs> A judge in California has been reprimanded for having sex in his chambers. He got caught because he was too loud banging his gavel. Boom! Right! right. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, yeah. sexy judge, what else? All right, uh, oh, it turns out the jury wasn't the only thing hung. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might remember him from the landmark case, Penis versus Vagina. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, he's pretty kinky. Uh, he would issue the occasional gag order. <laughs> gag, gag order. Not bad, yeah. not bad. Uh, what about, he liked sentencing people to the pokey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or he was always asking lawyers, hey, let me check your briefs. Okay, yeah. <laughs> anyway, here's what we're going to talk about. Vladimir Putin, uh, you remember Vladimir Putin? Sure, yeah, good yeah, friend. Yeah. Good friend. <laughs> All right. Vladimir Putin, a little bit. Uh, he said today he hopes to have a Ukrainian peace deal in by Friday. He reached out an olive branch and said, if there's no deal by Friday, he will crush Ukraine like bug under boot. He talks like this because also he is Dracula. Right. Did you know that? The vampire. Yes. The vampire. He is Vladimir Putin Dracula. That's right. I want to suck your borscht. <laughs> you, you are making my hair jiggle. Yes. My hair is now jiggling. This is how I fly with the jiggling hair. This is how. What? Many different hairs jiggling make uh, me fly, you see. <laughs> Go ahead, try it, try it. <laughs> I think you're really uh, stretching Go the ahead, concept no. there a little bit. That's what you do. Oh, shut up. All right. <laughs> anyway, signs of fall here in Los Angeles. The only way to know it's fall, really, in Los Angeles is if the pumpkin spice latte is back, and it is. <laughs> now, I can't mention where it is for legal reasons, but it rhymes with Starbucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that all right? What do you mean that's not all right? Well, then, let me be the first to say... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 It's a Scottish word. It's a Scottish term. Yeah. You gotta let me say it. You gotta let me. He. What is he, Jeff? Racist. A racist. <laughs> what is? What is he, Secretariat? <laughs> See? Yeah. Anyway, the pumpkin spice latte is back. It's a sign that fall is in LA. It means soon the Kardashians will go into hibernation. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're not going away ever. <laughs> 
Have you had your, your first pumpkin spice latte yet? Yeah, it went right through me. <laughs> You're wearing a kind of fall colored t ensemble, and by yeah. that I mean tie. Yeah, basically. an ensemble. Ensemble. Yeah, sure, yeah. And I've got my hairs painted different colors. Colors of fall, all the colors of the leaves. <laughs> In my pants. I'm gonna let the robot hang out there and see how long. Yeah. <laughs> Just a couple of guys talking, just talking a about A couple of life. guys talking about sure. nice, a man, his appliance, and is not a real horse. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to help you through the night, make your hair jiggle a little bit at home. Yeah, yeah. If your hair ain't jiggling, well, let me help you. That's... <laughs> that look like a turtle when I do yeah, that? a little bit, a little bit, yeah. Admit it, it's creepy, but kind of sexy as well, right? <laughs> I know. Oh, uh, that's the end of the monologue then. Well done. Well, that's it. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Great yeah, job, thanks everybody. thanks a lot. Yeah, there's, that's your late, well late monologue there, right there. Good stuff. Great. Yeah. great. Uh, commercial? Sure, why not? Okay. You're watching The Late Late Show, where that noise you hear in the background while clipping coupons, target demographic. <laughs> Join me, yeah, Wendell. Sure, yeah. Yeah, you don't get that on Dutch TV, do you? Yeah. You don't get that in the Welcome to America, where there's crap on TV 24 7, my friend. And we're leaving the charge, the charge of crap. That's the us. The charge man. of crap. Hey, uh, Jeff, do you have any appliances in your kitchen from Holland? Sure, yeah. yeah. What, what do you have? I've got, I've got an oven, as a matter of fact. An oven? Yeah, it's a nice Dutch oven. Yeah, Dutch that's oven, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you set them up, I knock them yeah. down. Yes. I know. All right, what time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who even now is making his own hairs jiggle. <laughs> Remember when I did that turtle thing? In the yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it work? <laughs> Sex turtle. Sex turtle, that's Sex my new turtle. thing. Sex that's turtle. My, yeah, sex turtle. Everybody do the sex turtle. <laughs> Jeff, do it. Yeah, yeah, sex turtle. Yeah, yeah. Mikey. Mikey, do the sex. Do the sex turtle, Mikey. All right, all right, forget Come it. Come on, do it, Mikey. Come yeah, on. Yeah, nah. He won't do it. You know why? Why? Racist. Racist. <laughs> against turtles. He's racist, racist against, against turtles. Racist against turtles. I don't like them. <laughs> they always go in their shell. And you ever had turtle soup? Turtle soup, yeah, it's good stuff. Good eating. Is it? Is it? Yeah, I've never sure. had it. I, I, I refuse to eat anything cute. Well, they, they've got their own sort of ready-made bowl. You just flip them over and go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it over and go to work, man. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's their fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, their that's fault. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it makes me laugh anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, this is from Constance and Wayne in Indiana. You ever been there? Constance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she says, do you have candles lit when you take a bath? <laughs> oh, yeah. And I go like this. <laughs> Sex turn. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Uh, 
This is from Diana in Providence, Rhode Island, who says, Craig, do you realize it's been weeks and weeks since any flies infested your studio? Really? I thought I saw some flies earlier on. There was, in fact, the... the Jay Leno Jay fly. Leno fly. <laughs> True story, true story. <laughs> and then that was replaced by the... the uh, Jimmy Fallon Jimmy fly. Fallon fly. Oh, hey, wow, so great, cool. Whoa, 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 it's awesome, whoa, everything's great. <laughs> I'm okay, wow, awesome, yeah. And then there was the... The yeah. rare uh, Craig Ferguson fly. Craig Ferguson fly. Yeah. Oh, it's a great day for America. Ooh, look at me here. Ooh. Oh, Kim Kardashian, oh. What was that there? What was he doing? Kim there? Kardashian. I'm making some jokes, I guess. So. Yeah, I <laughs> Kardashian jokes. Uh, you know the one I liked was the Liam Neeson fly. Liam Neeson fly is a great one. Ah, uh, there's no time. Quickly, quickly, there's no time. Quickly, there's no time. There's no time. Quickly. Any others we should think the, about? The turtle, the turtle soup fly. Okay. Ridiculous. It's wrong. Make any sense at all. <laughs> cross the streams there, man. You cross the Sorry, streams. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. All right. Sorry. This is from David in Tucson, Arizona. It says, uh, Craig, is it true that Sandra the rhinoceros has found another job and is leaving the show? I don't know. Is that true? Uh, I'm looking into it, yeah. <laughs> I've had some offers from some, uh, some big people. <laughs> what shows is, are, are, are you looking at? I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not at liberty to say right now, but... Uh... <laughs> Correspondent for The Daily Show, perhaps? Could be, yeah, could yeah. be. Access Hollywood? Yeah, all right, yeah. You're getting hotter, you're getting hotter. Uh, Game of Thrones? That's the one. Okay! I am the newest cast member on Game of Thrones, that's right. Can you do the sex turtle? Yeah, sure, yeah. Go ahead. a man with nothing left to lose, everyone. <laughs> we'll be right back. It's a very special sex turtle edition of the show. <laughs> All right, that's enough. <sighs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my first guest, a terrific actor. His latest film, Field of Lost Shoes, opens September 26th. He's also the executive producer producer of a show called Celebrity Name Game, which everybody's talking about. It premieres uh, September the 22nd. The whole world's like, this is gonna be the greatest uh -oh. show we've ever seen. <laughs> Take a look at this. David Arquette, everybody, David Arquette. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. It's, it's good. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, um, congratulations on Celebrity Name Game. <laughs> Thank which, you. Uh, who else is in it with you? Well, we have an incredible host. You're darn right <laughs> yes. you do. Yeah. Craig Ferguson. That's, it's kind of fun. We've made host. a bunch of them now. It's all You're right. incredible. You couldn't have been a better person to get on. Well, I think I'm a hack, and that's good. You know, <laughs> that's what you want. No, you want, you want a hack. All. Yeah. You're the most, like, free-spirited, like, think on your toes, like, fun. You keep it fun, and you always have nice socks on. Yeah, you got to wear nice socks, man. <laughs> you do. Are you wearing nice socks? Do you deal yes, socks? Yes, you are. You Come on. You deal-making socks. Yeah, you do. Time. Are you making a deal today? I had no, to no. bought a club or something. Is that right? No, there's a rumor going on that I'm buying a strip. 
strip club in Los Angeles. But we were going to turn it into a burlesque club, but we had a meeting about it, but they're sort of negotiating through TMZ, I think. Uh, <laughs> they keep saying, like, we're, we're the, they wanted too much money, to be honest. And then they keep dropping the price, but then selling a story, I don't get it. I don't know. I did not buy a strip club. Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I think, I think maybe you should think about it. It would be a nice uh, a burlesque uh, yeah. club. Yeah, so that means that the people don't take their clothes off. Well, that's pasties. You know, pasty. I, I, you mean like girls that don't have tan? No, no. Uh, no. Oh, yes, I see. Yes, 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 yes. I, I see. Yeah, yeah. I once did a play called The Rocky Horror Picture Show, and I could twist them. I I've could... done The Rocky Horror Picture Show. I you played did? Brad Majors oh, in The Rocky nice. Horror. Oh, nice. Yeah, who did you play? I played Frankenfurter. Ah, uh, yes, you did. Yes. yes. <laughs> do a bit of sex turtle during that <laughs> show. Did, yes. There's a how, lot of sex turtles. How long did you do that show for? I just did it at the Tiffany Theater. It was a. It was just a few years ago. We did it for about four months. Wow, it's an amazing show, isn't it? Yeah. Did you ever great. watch the Rocky Horror Picture show, like the movie, when you yeah. were, and go and see it yeah, and show the race and all that? I love that. I never did any of that. <laughs> no, no. And then after I was done with the show, I'm like, I never have to see this show again ever. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> but now I feel better about it because I, I did it for a year. Oh wow. That's too long. That's a long time. You know, I've been doing this show for ten years. No kidding. Yeah. I got a back, David. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, we love you. We love yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. loves you. Tell me about the Field of Lost Shoes, the, 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 the movie about lost shoes. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a Civil War uh, movie. It so oh, takes uh -oh. place in the Civil War. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and it's Is that about... Is that a comedy? It's not a comedy. Doesn't sound like no. a comedy, yeah. It's about a group of uh, really brave uh, cadets that are at the Vin Virginia Military Institute, and they show extreme courage in a battle during the Civil War. And it's all muddy, and they lose their shoes, but they uh. still keep on fighting, and uh, they actually, you know, win that battle because of their bravery. But I play, I'm on the, I'm the side of the North, which is usually the good guy, but I'm... You're a bad guy? ...blowing away all the kids that you, like, feel for in the movie at that point. So, yeah, I, I don't know. That got weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't... Well, you know, it's, it's only a movie. Yeah, it's just make-believe. He doesn't really do that in your life. He's a, a, he gives shoes away, don't you? I do. He wanders the streets of Los Angeles giving away pumps. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you already own nightclubs then in LA? I do right? have a nightclub called Bootsy Bellows. And what goes on there? Um, a lot of puppets. A lot puppets? of puppets. Yes, puppets. Crazy In a nightclub? Puppets. Yeah. What kind of nonsense is this I'm hearing? <laughs> we have, like, the Beatles, we have Jimi Hendrix, Bob Marley, so they'll all dance around, and then you take pictures with them. It's that kind of place. <laughs> you, it's, it's sort of like what you do here. <laughs> it's wacky. I mean, yes. And, 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 and there's money can be made out of this kind of thing? <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, though. Yeah, no, it's all right. Time. Do you stay up late every... You can't do that. Last night, well, the club was last night, so, yeah, it's tough. You stay up late, that because you got the baby yeah, now as well. Yeah. you got a little yeah, baby. Yeah. I have a new baby. Yeah, boy. you got a new yeah, baby, yeah. Four months old. That's Charlie funny. West, he's a real... Getting any sleep? Sweetheart. Yeah, uh, a little bit, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, But we just moved as well. So it's been a lot of like life changing stuff. Yeah. I got engaged. To my but engaged, uh, and, uh, well, you have to get engaged to your fiance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> engaged to your fiance, congratulations. <laughs> Baby, can I moved house, congratulations. Yes. And all these things connected in some way? <laughs> I just want to put as much pressure on myself at one time as possible. Well, you, and you know, technically, because of the game show, yeah. you, you are my boss. <laughs> now, that's just ridiculous. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> But that's, no, that's that... the way it is. You, you're, you're my boss. You can, like, I have to let you win at golf, and no. then you get me mad, and I'm like, Tootsie Fruitsie. Man, yeah. uh, take this job and shove it. And... I would like to just play golf with you for that exchange. Yeah. That would be hilarious. Are you... Are you uh... Do you play golf? I do play a little golf. You know, I just started it fairly recently. Yeah, I kind of love it. Me too. I thought it was not cool, but it's me that's not cool, I realize. <laughs> golf is actually pretty cool. Golf's fantastic. Yeah. And w with having the baby, like, you'd have maybe two or three hours, you know, before, you know, while someone was watching the baby, that you could get away, and there's nothing like going out to a golf course yeah. with the nature. And do you do you let the caddy watch the baby when you're playing golf? <laughs> I just take the baby because you can feel them yeah, around. Yeah, they, you actually can get a little wheeler with your your clubs on there. Yeah, yeah, and the maybe stroller. be on it. Yeah, yeah it's be good. fine. <laughs> can you actually swing with the baby kind of like stuck on you? On, on the back. On the back. Baby's yeah. got to be on the back. What about yeah. golfing in Scotland? You ever done that? No. Oh, you'd love it, man. I mean, that's oh, where it was that's, invented. That's right. right. That's <laughs> and it's it's raining. Yes. <laughs> it's near Holland. <laughs> nice.
<laughs> Very good. Good times. You've been Holland. You've been Amsterdam. Uh, yes, you I'm have. Still there. In a little, <laughs> in a <little> yeah. way. <laughs> it's quite a town, that Amsterdam, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I got into all sorts of nonsense there. <laughs> I feel bad for the regular folks in Amsterdam who are like, "What the hell?" <laughs> I know. <laughs> all these people around here doing that stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They don't seem to mind, though. I don't know. I mean, yeah. poor people. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to take a commercial break. Okay. Let's do that, then. <laughs> I mean, with David Arquette. Uh, sadly, David, we're out of time. That's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're out. Well, well kind nice. of we are, really. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind. Yeah, you seem very accommodating. <laughs> I was going to use this time to ask you for a raise. Okay. <laughs> Sir. Well, you know, winter is coming. <laughs> yes. And uh, you know, it's LA. Winter is coming. Oh, do you watch Game of Thrones? I do watch Game uh, of Thrones. Winter is coming. It yeah. is. Oh. Do you know who was here last night? It uh, was uh, uh, Gwendolyn Christie, who plays Brienne of Tarth. Oh, great wow. Big, yeah, I love yeah. Her character. Lovely, lovely girl. Yeah. In, but, like, on a different scale. Yeah. Like, enormous. Beautiful. <laughs> I was kind of turned on. Absolutely. <laughs> Have you ever had a super tall girlfriend? It's amazing. I've never had that in my life. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm quite tall, so there's not that... Well, I mean, obviously, there's some. I, uh, do you like a tall lady? Of course, I don't. <laughs> None of this is getting you into any trouble at all. By the way, I'm always in trouble. Nah, don't Doesn't worry matter. about it. You're Just ask fine. my fiancé. Yeah. <laughs> is she here? No, she's not. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. David Arquette, everybody. She's a beautiful young, young actress. You can see her in the final season of Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> we usually do that for Game of Thrones. Game of, Thro Game of Thrones! <laughs> but your Sons of Anarchy is also a great show. Yeah, we can do it for the Sons of Anarchy! <laughs> Which premiere... Good night, everybody! That's all the time! <laughs> Anyway, it premieres next week on FX. Uh, in Bar Lobby, everybody. In Bar Lobby. <laughs> Young lady, how spectacular you look this evening. Just really yes. very lovely indeed. Yes, you may. You can say that again. I'm going to say it again. You look great, and I love all this. What's all this jewelry? This is all exciting. I know. I went a little overboard. No, it's good. You must be extremely wealthy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not as wealthy as wealthy as I would like to be. That's all right. Is everything ever no right back there? What's yeah, going on? Yeah, I'm trying to show you this. Oh, no. wow. Well, that is croissant. Sexy girl. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, sir. That's good. And you can have your phone in that, too. You'd be like, hold on. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I guess I could have my phone in there. Yeah. You have a bit of Bluetooth in there. You'd be all right. So, The Sons of Anarchy, that's a good show. Uh, you, you can't talk. It's one of them shows you can't talk about it, right? Because it's the spoilers. I can't say much about it, but okay. I can say I'm very excited about it. How's that? Yeah, that's uh, playing it pretty close to your chest. <laughs> Uh, I'm also excited about it, too. It's, uh, it's a good show. Last season, though. Yes, last Well, have you got any plans beyond that? Um... Because I'm out of a job, too. I just wondered if you wanted to go on a crime spree or something. I... <laughs> what do you have in mind? I don't know, actually. I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't... I'm, I'm, I'm available, so... Uh... Uh... 
You want to? We'll talk. Yeah, I, we'll I think talk. I, I think I just kind of freaked myself out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where are you from? I'm from Israel. Israel? Yes, in fact, we have to slow down just a little tiny bit because English is my second language and sometimes when you say things I don't understand what you're saying. But Everybody at home's in the same boat. Okay. Okay. You are, aren't you? I know. I don't understand that. Why do we have to watch him? Because it's free. See, I didn't get that. I, I know. I was just, I was talking to my American uh, brothers and sisters. So, uh, okay. so what's your first language then? Hebrew. Hebrew. Well, that must come in handy if you're at bar mitzvahs and stuff. Yes. Because you'd be like, wrong, wrong. Well, they're all right, because I, I grew up in Israel, so they were all speaking our language. They were all speaking Hebrew. Oh, so I guess when a kid does a bar mitzvah in Israel, it's like, yeah, I'll just get up and do it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to go. Not as complicated. Yeah, right, yeah, well, there yeah. you are then. Yeah. Never thought about it before. Which part of Israel are you from? Um, Cholon. Oh, yes. Yeah? Is it? Do you know it? No, exactly. I... Uh, <laughs> I didn't think so. What, um, is it countryside? Is it seaside? So, Cholon is like a suburb outside of Tel Aviv. Right. So, um, it's kind of like Sherman Oaks as opposed to Los Angeles. Right, got it. Right. It's the Sherman Oaks of Tel Aviv. Yes. Yes. Okay. Something like that. It's actually called Cholon is because... Is I like the way you say it. Cholon. Cholon, yeah. You have some chumas. I, 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 I do. Actually, you should go. Israel is beautiful. I've heard that. Now, there's an Israeli restaurant in the valley called Itzak Hagadol. You ever been there? Yeah. It's actually in Sherman Oaks, I think. It, it's a... Uh... Crazy no, but it's there. really good. They have, I know the guys that work, they have this open kitchen and all the guys that work there, when you go in, they all look like they're like, they go, <laughs> chop things and look at you. It's kind of freaky. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I, I don't remember that. Well, what do you remember then? I, I just remember the hummus was great, you yeah, know? well, like, yeah. I do, that's why I went for the hummus. For the hummus. <laughs> so, uh, when did you come to America then? I came here about nine years ago. Oh, you must have been, what, nine? Something like that. Yeah. Something like so, that. So, uh, where did you go to first? I went to New York first. Yes, that's where I went first, too. Really? Yes. Why? <laughs> you first. Well, I, I went there because I was a naive girl from Israel who had big dreams and wanted to make it in the Big Apple. And yep, about the same as me then, really, yeah. <laughs> I was a naive girl from Scotland with big dreams. And look at you now. Yeah, well, not, not everybody wins. That's the way it is. <laughs> well, so, so what did you do when you got there? Did you have uh, any? Did you start acting right away, or did you have to get other work? Um, no, I had to, to wait my way around New York and save money and wait tables. Did you do yeah. that? Yeah, I did that. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, it's that's a, a lot of fun. That's a great job, isn't it? <laughs> Especially, I noticed, if you wait in tables, the swankier the restaurant, the more sashimi eat there. Have you noticed that? Yeah, absolutely. It's like, wow. Yeah. And they don't tip either, especially when you yell at them. Well, I have boobs. Yeah, well, yeah, but, you know, I have boobs, so... You do. I got, I got, I got some nice tips. I don't know... I don't know about you. Right? They know. Right, no. I'm just slowing things down for the person that types it out for the, uh, for the audience who are hard of hearing. T-I-P-S. Nice. <laughs> you know, English is not my first language either. Really? <laughs> not right now, anyway. I, uh, so, have you travelled around much or did you come straight to America? Did you go around Europe? Did you, you know, how did you get here? Plane? I got here by a plane. No, I, uh, I, I, yeah, I went to New York and then I, I came straight to LA after that to go to school. School? Yes. What did you study? Ooh, um, I studied acting. Ah. Which came. It's handy, handy for your job. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, yeah. Where did you study this, this acting of which you speak? I went to the Lee Strasberg Film and Theater. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one where they actually teach you acting as opposed to just hit on you all the time. <laughs> oh, I've been to acting. Yeah. yeah. Well, I <laughs> Only as a predator. Yeah. Yeah, 
you seem scarred for life. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, you know, I mm, no, I never actually went to any acting schools, hence, you know, this, you know. But, uh, this is all natural. Do you think it's very important for an actor to go to school? I, I think, you know, everyone has their own path, but for me, I know it, it was... It you learned a great deal, you think? Yeah, it was very helpful, and I feel more confident when I... You know, when I get in front of a camera, kind of having my tools. But yeah. I did, I mean, I feel like most of my studying I did at a, I, I worked at a video store for four years. Mm -hmm. And I. That's I, not really acting. <laughs> Was that, did you get a credit for that? No. <laughs> I should have. Um, I uh, I just watched a lot of movies. Oh right, that's yeah. how I learned most of my English. Yeah, really from yeah. movies. Yeah, I watched American cinema. Like I... that's a good idea. That's how I should learn it. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, so... I just I'm actually from Israel too. I just watched Braveheart over and over <laughs> and over. Well, it paid off. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. That's it. Okay, that sounds good to me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy an awkward pause? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Prepare. I'm gonna do a selfie while we do it. You're doing a, a selfie? Yeah, but you gotta do like a sexy, you know, like a duck face. <laughs> that that came pretty easy. Smell your finger? <laughs> May I? We got that photograph because it was hacked from the cat's phone. <laughs> very topical. It's very topical, yeah. Great job, what? Topical. It's very topical, that joke. Oh, the topical, topical. topicality. Yeah. What I found, the thing to do in late night, put your most topical joke right at Wait, the end yeah, of the show. Right. Yeah. yeah. That way, if anyone's waiting for it, they're asleep. <laughs> well, that cat's got uh, good breasts and nice hips. <laughs> Are you uh, doing some kind of callback to any of our guests this No, evening? not at all, no. <laughs> whoa. no. You're not being in, whoa, that fire's hot. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> watch your testicles, man. Your testicle. <laughs> I only brought one. Where's the other one? Isn't it like on a road trip or something? <laughs> I think right now it's on its way to Israel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it going to uh, is it going to get some hummus? <laughs> uh, oh man. <laughs> We're a couple of dirty old yeah. men. Aren't we? Yeah, we are.